Uh, it's July 5th. This is the CES meeting. Uh, we do not really have enough folks here to have a proper meeting, but Nicolo did want to share an update uh, regarding function and eval and context. And uh, apart from that, that's that's all we've got today. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I did some investigation regarding how all the browsers behave uh, when you have dynamic import in the function constructor. So, uh, where the relative specifier is resolved, like how, like what is the basic rel for resolving the relative specifier? And the good news is that Firefox implements something different from Chrome and Safari. Uh, when it comes to dynamic import, both in the function constructor and in in directival, so there is room to to change things. Uh, I also test for set them out just to since also set them out can be used as a way to evaluate strings even if it's not defined within like Microsoft six two, and that is an even weirder behavior or at least it's the only one that behaves uh, that actually completely ignores the active module and uses like the, on the web, the document URL to resolve uh, import specifiers. But yes, like all the results are different. So we, we have room here. And I created a testing repository if anyone needs access to that, just ping me and there are all the results. Sure, sure, sure that. And okay. set time out is a, um, it's good that it's doing that, right? Yeah, it's a private repository because it was since last week, we weren't sure if we wanted to uh, let the video, like the recording public for this part, but I will invite you. I think to answer Carity's question, uh, the expected, I, I think this group's expectation for the behavior of set timeout is that it would ignore the module and pay attention to the surrounding document. Yeah, I'm equivalent to indirect eval. It should be, yeah. Yeah, indirect eval should be equivalent. Uh, okay. What is your GitHub user? Okay, yeah, we're going to talk to the recording. So. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. I'll uh, stop the recording.